Hello, Geminis. This is your reading for January. Happy New Year, guys. I hope this is a fantastic year for you guys. Aries and Taurus have had pretty um, inspiring readings. Oh, and here you come at the gate. Ace of Pentacles here. This is like the best ace to me because especially if you're looking um, for some kind of financial windfall, um, starting a new business, uh, getting into a relationship, it is that like the beginning of something very grounded, very stable, very committed. Now, of course, it's just an ace, but it's not just an ace. This is like the best ace to me because it's like this is something that you can grab onto that you can um, that's not fleeting. If you put the right amount of effort into it, you know, you can easily get to the Ten of Pentacles. OK, hold on, guys. So this is um, this is Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, Earth energy. But um, yeah, this is the beginning of something uh, very good. For you guys here okay and then my cards are like flying out I see the eight of Pentacles down there on the floor turned over so I cannot ignore it that's all about that hard work um, a lot of you guys are currently single and um, I think you know you're pretty content with being single um, but I do get that there's somebody that you are also ignoring though okay it could be an Aries could be a Taurus Leo Scorpio Aquarius energy but um, I think you know there's something I feel like you guys are not really um, you're not really paying attention to and I think you're actively trying not to pay attention to something here you're actively trying not to pay attention to something here you're throwing yourselves into your work I feel um, and I do feel like that's gonna be beneficial for you that's gonna pay off for you guys in this new year okay what's crossing my Gemini's look at that and the world comes back out starting over communicating that's what this is Taurus Scorpio Leo Aquarius energy very fixed energy um, I think there's a relationship here for some of you guys that um, uh, I feel like you guys are ignoring somebody and I feel like um, there's somebody that you have not communicated with there's somebody that you have not talked to Aries Taurus Scorpio Aquarius could be that they're not talking to you as well um, but I definitely get that there is a rift between you and someone else okay and that's really keeping you from having everything that you want because I think you want this person let's see underlying issue here for Gemini four of Pentacles I think you want this person I think you are not comfortable opening up though there's something that has gone on um, either with this person or with someone else that's got you kind of closed off and um, you're really just kind of focused on yourself and not feeling very comfortable about opening up and allowing someone else in there's definitely something to do with your past past um, transgressions uh, past experiences and I feel like you know it's, it's kind of keeping you closed off and shut off from what it is that you truly want uh, I, I do feel like somebody's made you feel rejected somebody has probably either you left a home or they left a home or or just that feeling of this person somebody not being there for you okay feeling betrayed oh yeah could definitely be a Taurus here that flipped over in the deck could definitely be a Taurus somebody that you were married to or either had this very uh, committed strong relationship with when well, you thought it was very committed and strong until um, this person I'm, I'm feeling like this person hurt you okay what's going on in the recent past for 
Gemini, <clears throat> you were happy. You were happy. You were happy with this person. But there's something that you feel like you found out about this person too that has you shut down. That's keeping you from really having um, this new start with them in a relationship. And I'm, I'm getting like egos are involved here, like strong egos and probably yours and theirs, okay? Crowning thoughts for Gemini. Nine of Cups. You just want to be happy. Piscean energy. That's what you want. But it's all about you. Okay. It's all about you. Then we have a King of Wands. It's all about you. But there's something there. I feel like a lot of you guys are like hitting yourselves because this person is still very present here. They're still very present here in your thoughts. But I don't think it's one-sided either, though. Don't don't get me wrong. It's not just you that's thinking about this person. This person's thinking about you. I think this person, um, at some point in time, was like the center of your uh, universe. You know? I, I'm feeling strong fire here. Aries, Leo energy. Strong fire. <clears throat> What's coming in for... Gemini's King of Cups. I see you guys turning your back on this. I don't think you are. I think there's something that um, you guys are angry about. There's something that you're holding on to. And I think that um, you're not letting it go so easily. I do get that both of you are very mature. And I think that this person is very fiery, um, uh, quick to like probably lose their temper even. Um, but they're looking one way and you're looking another way. Both of you were happy at one point in time. I don't know what happened, but um, there was something that created a rift between the two of you. Scorpio energy here. How is Gemini viewing this situation? Five of Swords. Well, you know what the Five of Swords is now. That's Aquarius energy, but this is all about, you know, picking your battles. You know, do you want to win for the sake of winning? When actually nobody wins? Or do you want to like, you know, just give in a little, just to have what it is that you want? You know, because the Five of Swords, nobody really wins for real. You may win like as far as hurting somebody's feelings or, you know, having a little get back or whatever. But at the end of the day, what do you really have if you don't have the person? You know, so I, I, I'm getting that you're fighting to hold on to yourself. You're fighting to like hold on to your vulnerability. You don't want to be vulnerable. I get that because vulnerability means that you allow somebody to come in and just stomp on your freaking heart. But in order to have love, that's what you got to be open to. You have to be trusting. So I don't think you're there yet. I think right now you're just like. Nope, this is what I'm doing. I opened up myself before. I wore my heart on my sleeve before. I opened up to this person before. And look what the fuck they did to me. You know, that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But I think you want to. I think you want to open up. It's just hard. It's hard once you've been hurt, you know. Let's see. What is the influence here for Gemini? Queen of Swords. You've got a Queen of Swords. Huh. There's somebody that's hurt here. Um, and I think maybe both of you have been hurt. 
but there's somebody that's like wanting to know the truth want to have a conversation wanting like the other person to be vulnerable there could definitely be a situation here where there are three people involved in this situation for sure okay um, if you don't know that to be true then it's probably not your situation but if you already have an incline then you know there you have it guys so because I am definitely seeing a situation here where somebody has been hurt before there is an opportunity like for redemption um, but yeah let's see hopes or fears for Gemini Nine of Swords Taurus got this same um, card but I think maybe it was the influence but the Nine of Swords is like worrying yourself beyond belief, worrying yourself into a tizzy, um, and thinking about things that really have no uh, have no truth to them for real, or either the truth is exaggerated. You know, this is like just being very kind of paranoid about things. I think you want to see clearly. You don't want to be lost in this fog. You want to know what to do. And you don't want to feel like, um, you know, like all is lost. Or that you're doing the wrong thing. I think, you know, for the most part, you want to see clearly. You want to think clearly. You want to know that what you're doing is, um, is leading you down the right path. Look at this. As I say, leading you down the right path. <laughs> yeah you want to see things clearly let's see what's behind it the three of pentacles it's all about compromising working with other people seeing things clearly hmm some kind of way you guys have to meet in the middle Virgo energy, Capricorn energy is here. Um, it's all about working together, having conversations, having those difficult conversations, and clearing up any misconceptions or any misunderstandings here. So that is what I see um, coming in for you, working to see clearly okay to understand what it is that you need to do because I think that you somebody's seeking the truth right here somebody's seeking like um, you know where to go how to maneuver all right guys so that is what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you guys soon bye